Hey guys, this is Gino T, and yes, I am excited. I am so excited I couldn't even change my clothes after work today to give you this report. As you notice, I'm dressed in shirt and tie, but it's because it's all down to business, baby. This is business, and this is your first week's picks for the NFL, and yes, they're coming early because that's why the NFL starts on Thursday. It is early, and so is Gino T. He's on time. So get your bookie's phone number ready and get ready to make the phone calls or your pick and pull or whatever else you do your gambling through. Okay? Just don't do it through me because you won't be able to afford paying me if you take the other side of the ball. Anyway, I'm starting off with the New Orleans Saints on Thursday night for my lock, shock, lock of the week. Uh, New Orleans minus the five. Take it all day. Over the Vikes. Uh, I know it's Brett Favre. I know everybody's all excited about him. Uh, Minnesota's defense is not going to be the same as it was. It is good, but I'll tell you right now, New Orleans has way too many weapons. A much better younger quarterback, much better offensive line, much better set of wide receivers. As a matter of fact, even if they had one wide receiver, it would be one more wide receiver than the Vikings have right now. Look for the New Orleans Saints. Uh, special teams defense and offense to just overpower the Vikes. Uh, may not happen early in the game, but as that game goes on, look for them to have their way with the Vikes. And by the end of the game, you can put your money in the bank. Take New Orleans minus the five. It's my shock lock of the week. Um, and it's only because it starts on Thursday. i got to give it to you a little early. In the NFL, on Sunday, the opening Sunday of the NFL, which is always my Sunday fun day, take the Atlanta Falcons, fully loaded, ready to go, over the Pittsburgh Steelers. Yes, I'm catching them because Ben Roethlisberger, or as like they say in Pittsburgh, Molesterberger, will be out uh, for four games, five with the bye week, back on the sixth. But you want to take Atlanta in this game. Michael LeBurner Turner is going to run rough shot over that defense. Um, their defense really isn't – it's good, it's solid, it always produces, but they're going to be on the field way too long. And I'll tell you right now, Atlanta's good on both sides of the ball. Uh, look for them to smoke out Pittsburgh and at least cover the two and a half. My next lock of the day would be the Jacksonville Jaguars. Run it with MJD, as you may have heard on this fantasy show. I'm not a real big fan of MJD, but I'm also not a big fan of Denver uh, either. And Denver this year, just too many decimating injuries on both sides of the ball. Uh, Clady, uh, Doomerville. Um, they don't have a lot of faith, I don't think, in their quarterback. Um, and to be honest with you, I, I really don't think uh, offensively they have it. I mean, no Sean Marino's coming back off an injury. Um, I, I just don't like Denver. I think next to Kansas City, they're going to be the doormat of the AFC West. Um, they're not going to be that good this year. And Jacksonville is going to start off strong. I think they're going to come out uh, ready to play. MJD is going to be all ready to go. Uh, I just think they have a better offensive set, much better defense than Denver could have at this point. And I think it's going to be a close game, but I do love Jacksonville in that opener. Remember, they are America's team. Rounding out my Monday night toothpick pick. And I call it the toothpick pick because you're going to have to be have toothpicks in your eyes to watch this game till the end because it'll probably be on until almost 2 o'clock in the morning. It's the back end of that double Monday night header they put for the opening week. Uh, San Diego and Kansas City, or as I will say this year, Kansas shitty. Um, San Diego is laying four and a half. I know they're on the road. I know they're in Kansas City. I know it's a divisional game. I know there's a lot of people that are very hopped up on uh, Kansas City. Mostly, Most of them live in Kansas City. Um, I don't see the Chiefs being anything but the doormat below the doormat called Denver in that division. Um, Kansas City is just butt awful, horrible. Matt Castle is a dis he's just he's just horrible. Um, played well, I know, two years ago in New England, but he had a whole different system. He was coming in in a different position. Uh, he had different players around him, other than Jamal Charles. Kansas City really has nobody. Um, Clusters might be a guy that's a diamond in a rough for them. But, again, he's got nobody throwing it to him. Uh, I mean, even Denver's got Kyle Orton, who's an upgrade, uh, like uh, uh, Jason Campbell would be to Jamarcus Russell. But it, it, he's not playing for them. So look for San Diego to be my Monday night crush lock. Uh, they are my toothpick lock of the night because, yes, they are playing the second half, and you probably will be up till 2 o'clock in the morning watching it. Lay the four and a half with San Diego. 
Look for that scumbag Philip Rivers to light him up and throw all over the place on him. Uh, he's going to be throwing uh, to Floyd. He's going to have Gates. Um, look for Ryan Matthews, their, their um, rookie running back, to tear it up on that anemic defense of Kansas City. Um, it's going to be a quick night for them. They should wrap it up early. Um, those are my picks. Take them to the bank, baby. Until next week, you take this.